Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to PR Media, your home for everything movies and music, through my eyes. And today we have a review of the brand new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of the horror classic 1931's Dracula. The dashing, mysterious Count Dracula, after hypnotizing a British soldier named Renfield into his mindless slave, travels to London and takes up residence in an old castle. Soon Dracula begins to wreak havoc, sucking the blood of young women and turning them into vampires. When he sets his sights on Mina, the daughter of a prominent doctor, vampire hunter Van Helsing is enlisted to put a stop to the Count's never-ending bloodlust. Going into this review, of course I've been familiar with Dracula, but I've never watched the full 1931 version in its entirety. It's really short at just over an hour, it looks like an hour, 10 minutes, hour 15. Overall, I did really enjoy it though. You can see how this really started a lot of the horror conventions, and this movie is 90 years old. It was shot over 90 years ago, but it's on 4K now. Just that in and of itself is really amazing. And I learned a lot from a short documentary clip where they showed the restoration of Dracula and all of the work that went into restoring it, so I'm really glad glad this movie finally came to 4K, but is this 4K transfer of the movie worth it? Let's find out. If you decide to pick up the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of Dracula from 1931, you have two versions to pick from in the US. There is a Best Buy exclusive steelbook as well as it's included in the Universal Classic Monsters Icons of Horror collection that I have here. And on the cover we have Dracula, Frankenstein, the Invisible Man, and the Wolfman. And on the back we have the original posters as well as some information about the movies, the technical specs, as well as what special features are offered. And everything is housed in this pretty nice feeling like hardcover book set. And you open it up and you have some images from the classic films. And the first entry we have here is Dracula with that 4K disc on the left and the Blu-ray disc on the right with some more bonus features. Overall, it's similar to the Hitchcock Classic Collection set, and it's okay, but I do hate these fucking slips. I wish they would just have normal press-ins or a swinging disc, something besides this, because I feel like I'm always going to scratch it, and when I did watch my movie, it had some skipping issues towards the end and on the title screen, so I don't know if it was caused by this, but I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. For visuals on Dracula, we have native 4K, and this is in its original aspect ratio of 133 by 1, so it's full screen, but like cropped in on the sides. And overall, this is a true 4K masterpiece, in my opinion. The source material they had to work with on this was not entirely the greatest. They don't have the original negatives, those didn't survive, but they did have a transfer of it from 1934, which they used to source the entire movie. And is this super grainy? Of course. Is the picture soft at times and not that great, considering how old it is? Of course. But they did clean up a lot of the shots where if there was damage, they got rid of that. They stabilized some shots, and overall they restored it to the best of their ability without compromising the original picture. But the star here is the HD. D R, and that's because this is in black and white and so you're just dealing with blacks and just dealing with whites and sometimes transfers there can live or die by their HDR and I popped in the blu-ray version of this movie and it's really white and kind of bright and for a movie like Dracula that is not playing to its strengths whatsoever but here on the HDR it really brings out the original intent of this movie that blacks are deep and inky and those whites are brought down to really reflect the tone of the film and there's even some weird flickering in the background which gets sorted out here and even when they just transferred this to 4K, they restored it to the best of its ability, and I'm glad we have this version because I think it's really important. For audio on Dracula, we have a DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 Mono Mix, which is the same version we had on the Blu-ray, and this sounds fine. They restored some of the audio from the original version so that it wouldn't have any clicks or pops or fade in and out or anything like that, but the beautiful symphonic score on here is absolutely breathtaking, and while it's not the best audio I've ever heard, I mean, this thing's over 90 years old. What the hell do you expect? This isn't going to be some modern action movie. But I never had a problem hearing the dialogue, which was a pleasant surprise because older movies like this, there's only so much you can do with their transfers. But overall, I was pleased with this. It's not new, but it's solid. So what I recommend Dracula on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, I'm going to say yes, this is a day one pickup. I'd recommend picking up this Universal 4 movie collection because it is a great collection of those original horror films. And the Steelbook version of this, which is the only other way you can get it as standalone, is much more expensive than if you were to just get it in this collection. And I think all four of these movies are important. And if this doesn't do good, we're not going to get more of these kind of films. So go and support this. I would highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram. And like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching Pete. Our media, keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. We take a great deal of pride and we feel a great deal of responsibility for being true to that content and enabling that content to be passed down generation to generation and to make it available for many years to come. He will live.
through the centuries to come as I have lived. Good night.